guys, it's Sam. So today I'm like unicorn vibing. I've got my flower crown on. I'm gonna be showing you how to do a super quick and easy DIY unicorn jewelry holder. It costs altogether, I believe, $5 for the unicorn tray, $1 for the little one, I think $3 for the other one, and then five. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 bucks. I believe and then of course like your hot glue gun and all that good stuff this is what it looks like so unfortunately the little stand that I got on the top is actually crooked and I didn't realize until I got home and tried to do the video and realized oh it's like off kilter um, it was a dollar so what do you expect but I got it at Target and we don't live close to Target so instead of me driving all the way back down in snow to go get one that's straight I figured just find a straight one keep your eyes out when you're in the Target dollar spot guys don't buy a crooked one. So the big one here on the bottom, this was all in the Target dollar spot. And then I actually ordered this little tray a while ago, the little unicorn like um, ring and earring holder off of, I think it was Rue 21 um, for five bucks a while ago. I'll try and find one like this and link it down below for you guys, but everything else is just in the dollar spot. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to make this. Honestly guys, it's so easy, it's so quick. Like you, I mean, the worst that you can do is buy a crooked, literally I've made every mistake that you could make because this is crooked and my little unicorn thing is slightly chipped but that was my fault and then I got the glue a little bit too close to the edge so you can kind of see it if you're like looking up at it but if you're looking like down no one's going to notice. So just now that I've like told you exactly what not to do, <laughs> now you know what to do. So make sure because I did it good on the other ones but then that one threw me off just make sure that you're not going so close to the edge that when you switch it down you're gonna see your glue make sure that you leave yourself a good amount of space around the actual outside of where you're applying your hot glue so that you don't see it like around the edges but it's no big deal it's okay no big deal no one's gonna notice um so yeah so here's my little unicorn stand isn't it so cute so I figured on the bottom like you couldn't store watches or bracelets, the middle one could be for like hoops and earrings, which is how I have it. And then the top little one is basically for your little studs. And then the unicorn horn is to hold your rings. And it's just a really fun and very unicorn vibed way to store some of your favorite jewelry. Oh, one of my pieces fell off. This is supposed to be on there too, my little gold cuff. So if you wanna know how I did this, it's literally guys, so easy. All you need is a hot glue gun, this stuff and then some kind of way to clean it off so that there's no dust that you're going to be sticking the glue to. This is something that I feel is easy enough that I can do so that means pretty much anybody can do it because I'm not that good at this kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys like this. I think it turned out really cute. I'm actually super excited. It's just so cute. So stay tuned. I'll show you exactly how I make it, exactly what you need. And I hope you guys love this. If you do, please share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, wherever you want to. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you do decide to recreate your own, please tag me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. I'm Sam Sherman everywhere. Um, I would absolutely love to see what you come up with. Yes, I hope you guys love this. Thank you so much for watching. And now we will move on to the actual tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is some glass cleaner as well as some paper towel. That way you can clean off any kind of dust that could be on the surfaces, just so that you're not like hot glue going, hot glue gunning onto the dust. Then you're gonna need some extra glue sticks in case you run out of the one that's in your glue gun. You're gonna need a glue gun because we're gonna glue the little platforms on top of each other. This one I just got from Michael's. It was super cheap and it works awesome. I always put it on like a brown paper bag just so that it's not gonna get glue anywhere on your surfaces or like I did for this video, a fancy rug. Okay, next you're gonna need some kind of little dish that holds rings and earrings. That's gonna be your topper. So I just got this one from Rue 21 and it was five bucks. Next, you're going to take a little tray. I got three different sizes. These were from the dollar spot. Keep in mind, they are kind of crooked. Can you see that right there? So they kind of throw off the whole entire tray, um, but just make sure that you try and find one as straight as possible. And then there's the large one. So I got a small, medium, large, so they can all stack up on top of each other. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean off the surfaces just so that they're not dusty. And that way we're not glue, gu glue gunning the, um, the things on top of dust. I just wanted to make sure that it was extra, super duper clean. So you're just gonna give that a good wipe down. And if you have a little assistant to help you, that's always nice as well. Okay, 
So the next thing you're going to do is hot glue gun around the edge. So whatever surface will be touching the one that you're putting it on, hot glue gun. But make sure you're not doing it too close to the edge. So you can see in this one, I actually did it pretty like good on the inside so that when I squished it down, the glue didn't show. Um, so just make sure that that's what you're doing. You're leaving a good enough amount of space in between. And then I just eyed it. If you want it to be like absolutely perfect, you could always measure, but these things are so crooked <laughs> that I really feel like it would be very difficult to make them perfect because they are kind of off kilter. So just eye it if you want to, like I did, and just stick it as close to the middle as you can possibly find. Mine wasn't perfect, but you know what? That's okay. That represents me so well. So you can see here that it is stuck on there. That It was actually surprising how well it stuck. And then you've got your bigger one, your medium one, and now we're gonna do the top one. So again, I'm just gonna go around the edge and just making sure that I stay on the inside so that it's not gonna squish out and look all messy and blobby. And you're just going to hot glue. And work pretty fast, because I feel like the hot glue dries super duper quickly. So if, you, if it dries too much, then it's obviously not gonna stick it gets hard and then you have issues. So now I'm just going to be eyeing it again and it was hard because this one was like extra crooked and so I was like, dang, I don't even know if I'm in the middle here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is hot glue gun the little unicorn topper onto. But see how I got it right on the edge because the edge, it was such a small little ridge that there was really nowhere else to go. So I ended up getting it a little bit too much on there and it kind of squished out on sides but um, now you guys know don't make that same mistake and then again I'm just kind of like holding it down and pressing it really well into place so that it's nice and stuck onto the rest of the stands so you can see now it's like a nice little tiered jewelry stand you've got your unicorn on top and basically that's it guys now all you have to do is decorate it and tidy up so now I'm basically just adding all of my favorite gold pieces so on the bottom I figured bracelets would be the best spot Middle, I put earrings, and then on the very, very top one, because it has that little shelf, um, it's perfect for studs and for rings on the unicorn horn. But basically, you can put whatever you want on there. It could be makeup, it could be skincare, it could be whatever you want. I just tried to find all the jewelry that matched the little gold rim of the trays, as well as the little unicorn horn. So you can do what you want with it, guys. It's totally up to you, but I love the way that it looks. I just think it's super pretty and elegant, but still a little touch of like whimsical with the unicorn. there is my easy DIY unicorn jewelry stand. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Bye!